This lesson deals with supplemental problem 223. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 22. Given this circuit with a 9 volt source, a 1K and a 1K resistor, let's calculate the voltage across this second 1K by calculation. Let's also do the same by measurement using the equivalent circuit of the voltmeter we had on page 57 of the chapter 2 notes. Let's repeat that one more time using a ammeter that we had a model for on page 56. This will show some of the problems with measurement. The voltage divider rule works if you have two resistors that have the same current, and you know the voltage across them, and you can use the resistance here over the sum of the two times the nine volts to get the value across the second 1K resistor, and that's four and a half volts. In other words, cut in half. Now suppose that we hook a voltmeter across this, and the model we had for the voltmeter in our chapter two notes on page 57 was that it had an equivalent resistance of 10,000 ohms. But putting that in parallel with the 1K changes the 1K. We actually have, again, product over sum, it's a little bit less than 1K, it's 909.09. .09. So now if we calculate what the meter is going to read, it's going to be this equivalent resistance divided by the 1K plus that resistance times the 9 volts. And you get 4.286. So quite a different reading from what we would expect to see. And you can actually calculate a percentage error due to taking the measurement. Let's define error as the real result minus the ideal over the ideal times 100%. So what we actually measured would be 4.286 volts. Ideally, we expect 4.5 and then 4.5 here times 100%. That's a minus 4.8% error. So whenever you measure something, you actually change its value. What you got to be careful of is when you put things like this in the circuit, that its equivalent resistance is much, much, much greater than the thing in parallel with it. Here's just a factor of 10, so you're looking at about a 10% error, and then that's cut in half because of the voltage division. Let's use an ammeter and try the same thing. Well, the ammeter we had in the notes had an equivalent circuit of about 0.33 ohms. This is on page 56. Let's calculate the current that's going to flow in this circuit. It'd be the 9 volts divided by the sum of the resistances, which would be 2,000.33. So the voltage cross here then would be the 1,000 times the current, and that's 4.49925 go back and use the same error formula, you'll find that the error is about a minus 0.016%. So much less error by using an ammeter instead of a voltmeter. These are some of the problems with measurement. And this is supplemental problem 223.